I've been seeing many posts and questions on the Starbound subreddit as of late, revolving around mod recommendations for newer players. Let's say you've just completed your first vanilla playthrough, and you're looking to dive into some mods. Which mods would I recommend? Well, here's a video that might answer that question for you. Full disclaimer, this is my personal list. Mods that I have played, mods that I have experience with, mods that I've downloaded, mods that I can vouch for. If you ask that question to literally anybody else, you're almost guaranteed to get a completely different set of mods compared to what I'm about to give you. And a lot of these come down to personal taste regardless, like race mods and mods that add cool swords or clothes or whatever to the game. But to start off, we need to tackle the elephant in the room, Fracken Universe. I do not recommend Fracken Universe for newer players because it's humongous. It's essentially a giant mob pack in and of itself, and the number of mods in said mob pack is in the hundreds. It changes almost every aspect of Starbound. Seriously, there are many, many reasons why it bills itself as an overhaul mod. It's the only mod like it for Starbound, and it's second to none in terms of the amount of content it adds to the game. That can be both a good and a bad thing, but I feel there are some other facts about Fracken Universe that need to be taken into consideration here. Namely, the amount of controversy and drama that has surrounded it over the years, and the fact that its developers can be not great people sometimes. And there's also the amount of grind that's present in the mod, which, depending on your personal tastes, can be a good or a bad thing. Look, I made a video detailing my thoughts on Fracken Universe a while back, and I really do not want to repeat the stuff I said there, here and now. I highly recommend you go watch that, though. And if I pressed all the right buttons, you should see a link to that pop up in the top right-hand corner of this video right about now. To reiterate, I do not recommend Fracken Universe if you are looking to do your first mod to play through of Starbound. And yes, I realize that the footage I have in the background shows Starbound with Fracken Universe installed. Again, go watch my video about that in case you want to know why I still use it, despite my many, many problems with it. So, what do I recommend then? The answer to that will be split into two categories. The first will focus on smaller quality of life mods that could be considered essential. Stuff that's need to have, absolutely necessary. The second will focus on larger mods. Mods that add tons of custom planet types and biome types and star types and stuff among those lines. Topping my list of quality of life mods that are absolutely essential is more planet info. As the name suggests, it gives you more info about planets you come across. What types of settlements are on it, for instance. Let's say you're playing through Starbound Story Mode, and you need to find an avian village for the Scan Avian Artifacts Story Quest. You arrive at a particular planet, and more planet info will tell you, hey, there's an avian settlement on this planet. Then there's Food Stack. Shove all your food items into a fridge, press a button, bam, all your food is now stacked instead of taking up what, 10, 12, 15 spots in your inventory? Skippable cinematics. Self-explanatory. Though, correct me if I'm wrong here, I believe a few years ago, Vanilla added a similar feature to what this mod adds. In any case, press escape during any cutscene to skip it. That's it. That's literally what this mod does. Handheld torches. Again, self-explanatory, though keep in mind that the handheld torch is a different item from the regular torch. A little weird, but it is what it is. Instant crafting. Crafts things instantly, of course. Want to craft hundreds of the same healing item or whatever and don't want to wait for every single individual one to finish crafting? Well, there you go. Ceiling sprinklers, or ceiling mounted sprinkler, as the mod's called. Absolutely essential for growing crops. Because I'd rather have my sprinklers above the crops rather than with the crops. Space efficiency is what I'm saying here. Starbound Patch Project. Okay, this one requires a bit more explanation. Some of what this mod does includes correct a bunch of texture issues and sprite issues, 
correct a bunch of typos, fill in some placeholder icons, and even correct some rare crashes that were present in vanilla. Again, that's only some of what this particular mod does. If I were to list every single change this makes, I would be here for hours. No kidding. Improved containers. You want a chest from the ground, keep all its items inside, sell it as a whole, rename it, sort it any way you want. I should note that there exists another mod similar to this called Enhanced Storage that does pretty much exactly everything this mod does, but also adds things like liquid tanks and level indicators and a bunch of other things. I use improved containers because it's not as complicated, but I don't think I have either that or enhanced storage installed in this background footage. Whoops. If you've noticed a trend with this list of quality of life mods, it's that they don't change up Starbound that much. Even if you were to have everything I just listed installed at the same time, the game would generally still feel like vanilla. Well, okay, you should not have enhanced storage installed at the same time as improved containers. These two mods are incompatible with each other, since they make some of the same exact changes to the same exact items. But my point still stands, these mods generally do not make Starbound deviate much from vanilla. Which brings me to the first of the larger mods I wanted to recommend. Betabound. Betabound falls somewhere in between a mod like Enhanced Storage and a mod like Fracken Universe. It adds a ton of content, but much of that content is quality of life stuff, like ladders and mining gear and new tech options for your characters. And then there are things like incredibly useful new food items, new ores, new quests in the outpost, unique new weapons even. Stuff that some might not consider essential, but still great to have. At the same time, it's not really an overhaul. In fact, Betabound bills itself as, and I quote, a base game enhancement mod which adds tons of content consistent with the Starbound vision throughout the entire game from beginning to end. Betabound is present, but not overwhelming. And that's what makes it so great. It doesn't do anything drastic. It doesn't need to. Actually, I'm even going to go so far as to recommend Betabound to someone who's looking to get into larger Starbound mods without diving into the complexities of something like the next mod I want to recommend. Arcana. As the name suggests, Arcana is focused around magic. Well, techno magic, but it's so much more than that. It adds a bunch of planet types, biome types, star types, dungeons, settlements, two new races, a plethora of weapons and armor sets. The list goes on and on and on. Honestly, I could spend all day long discussing how awesome this mod's music is, but I don't have all day. Instead, I'll just say that Arcana is perhaps the best example of a Starbound mod that, while large, does not do anything overly complicated, doesn't try to do too much at once, keeps itself consistent, and by that I mean it sticks to its core themes like peanut butter to jelly, or jam if you prefer, and perhaps most important, it's incredibly fun because of these qualities. It's fun to explore Arcana's planets and encounter factions like the Horizon, you get to asking, well, what's their big deal? Who are these people and why do they do what they do? Again, I could go on and on and on, but if you haven't played through any Starbound mods and are looking for something more substantial than Betabound is, Arcana is my go-to recommendation. And then there's Elithian Races. It's the last mod I'm going to give a hard recommendation for in this video, and that's mainly because of the amount of content it adds. Nothing to do with something like Vanilla Starbound's story, such as it is, but the amount of content it adds, and how good said content is. Elithian Races, as you might expect, adds a bunch of races to the game. The Aegi, the Avacon, the Droden, and the Trinks. Those are just the playable races. There is also the non-playable Akamari, who you will encounter as enemies. And yet, just like Arcana, there is so much more to Alithian races than just the races. There is the Starfarer's Refuge, the Creon Embassy, 
vehicles, weapons, armor, lore, backstory for all the races, holidays for crying out loud. No joke, Alithian Races adds in-game events tied to two holidays. The Harrowing, which is based off Halloween, and the Landing Festival, which is based off of Christmas and New Year's. And you don't need to be any of the four playable races this mod adds to enjoy these events and all this mod's content. All that said, I need to reiterate that these are just my recommendations. You do not need to take everything I've said here to heart. You can download other mods if you want to. Mods like Maple32, which sadly I couldn't talk about here because, well, I just simply haven't played it yet. I know, I should, but still. If you're looking for even more Starbound mods, I have an entire series on this channel dedicated to them. It's called the Starbound Mod Showcase, and I try to make a new one at least once a week. Well, when I'm not making videos like this anyways. On that note, subscribe to the channel, ring that bell, do all the typical supporting people on YouTube things. I also have a Patreon and a coffee you can throw money at. And if you want, you can pay me to draw some lewd florins. Also, I have a Discord server you can hang out on. I will drop links to all of that in the description. Thank you for watching. I seriously hope you enjoyed this. Take care of yourselves. And goodbye for now.